So why PGT in SMA? This takes me back, takes me back to 15 years when I had just joined Craft Hospital. I met this young beautiful couple who had tragically lost two of their children with SSMA. Since both the couple were carriers, both the children were affected and uh, most of the doctors at that point of time had suggested them to do either a donor IVF or to terminate the pregnancy if at all the child has been, if at all the embryo has been diagnosed to be having SMA. And in fact, some of them even, some of the relatives even force them to go for a divorce and remarry. So at that point of time, through some doctors, they got to know about Craft Hospital and they came us, came to us, they underwent PGT with us and they got a healthy baby boy. And then few years later, they got another healthy child from the embryos which were frozen at the time of first IVF. So PGT basically avoids unaffected pregnancies. It reduces the emotional and ethical burden of prenatal diagnosis and termination. So what happens in PGT IVF? When we get injections for the eggs to grow and mature and then with the help of a fine needle and under, under ultrasound guidance, under good sedation, these eggs are collected and then they are processed. Simultaneously, sperms are collected and then they are either left to fertilize the eggs on their own or are injected into the eggs as you can see here. Then these fertilized eggs are cultured to grow to good embryos and on day 5 of embryonic growth, a small bit of embryo on day 5 is biopsied to assess whether it has any genetic problem and the embryos which are free from genetic problems are transferred into the uterus which eventually leads to a healthy pregnancy.